These days, most things are done via the internet, banking, social life, databases. And whilst doing everything online can be beneficial, as it saves both time and money, it also comes with risk. And one of those risks is hackers. Can you imagine the damage that could be done if bad people hacked into Tesla or SpaceX? Have you ever wondered how Elon Musk protects his computers and customers from hackers? In this video, we'll explore just some of the ways that Elon stops hackers from getting their mitts on the information stored within Tesla, SpaceX, PayPal, and his personal devices. We'll then share a true story about a time Tesla was almost hacked by a Russian hacker. Stay with us till the end. Since Elon Musk is often thought of as a man of the future, it makes sense that he likes to protect himself and his companies from hackers. Let's take a look at how Elon protects himself, his businesses, and his customers from cyber criminals. Unlike petrol or diesel cars, Teslas operate electronically. Some people don't even need a key to drive their vehicle, they just need the Tesla app. But as you can imagine, this leaves plenty of opportunity for Teslas to be hacked. So what's being done? Most Tesla cars enable their drivers to use what's called a pin to drive right from the start. If customers want to, they can set their car so you just enter a pin number to drive it. No pin? You're not going anywhere. However, the problem with this is, what do you do when the hacker gets your pin? According to a 2020 Forbes article, Elon Musk was set to introduce two-factor authentication to Teslas. You might recognize the phrase, two-factor authentication from your online banking or social media accounts. You'll be given an authentication code, either via the Tesla app, a hardware key, or a text message to drive your Tesla. Even if hackers have your Tesla code and the app, they still won't be able to steal your car. Multiple groups have a vested interest in SpaceX's projects being unsuccessful, including various governments and groups with a dislike of Musk. To combat hackers, SpaceX uses an advanced encryption. The specific designs and technologies for the rockets are stored on a unique computer that's not even connected to the internet. Even if it's sent to another computer, there's so many layers of encryption, it would take hundreds of computers several decades to break it. To stop hackers from infecting SpaceX's computers with malware, they use a program called InfoSec, created in 2015 to stop Chinese hackers. If someone at SpaceX were to download new software or files, it's filtered through InfoSec to kill any malware. Like how a water filter might filter chemicals or pathogens from entering the glass it's being poured into. Although Elon is no longer a part of PayPal, he is one of the key reasons behind its safety. For a start, each transaction is monitored. If the PayPal staff notice something suspicious, they can investigate the issue. There's also data encryption, so nobody could steal your data by using the same Wi-Fi network that you're using. Data encryption is where data's encrypted. Okay, I know that sounds obvious, but let me elaborate. If I send the name John Smith from my computer to the PayPal server, whilst it's traveling along between computers, it won't say John Smith. It might be something like FG676H7. And then when it gets to PayPal, it decrypts and becomes John Smith again. Now, finally, let's talk about his personal life. When you're rich and famous like Elon Musk, there's gonna be people who wanna know what you don't want them to know. If someone had access to all of his private pictures, videos, conversations, they can make a lot of money selling that to the press. But Elon Musk doesn't use Facebook. He thinks its security measures against hackers are not strong enough. In fact, he's even claimed that Facebook gives him the willies. Not even his two most well-known companies, Tesla or SpaceX, have a Facebook page. The main reason he dislikes Facebook is that they often store user data sometimes without your permission. What do they do with this information? Your guess is as good as mine, but Elon certainly doesn't trust them. He also regularly wipes and destroys his phones just in case somebody knows how to hack into it. Now, personally, I'm not sure if it's necessary, but who am I to judge? How the FBI saved Tesla. Did you know that once Tesla was almost hacked by a Russian hacker? His name was Igor Igorovich Khrushchev. He wasn't working for or with Putin. 
As far as we know, he was just out for his own benefit. But knowing the Kremlin, you can never be too sure. He almost managed to persuade a Tesla employee to infect the company with ransomware that would have given him access to all their data. He could then blackmail Tesla, telling them that all this information would go on the internet if they didn't pay up. According to a business insider, once his cybercrime gang got their hands on the Tesla data, they would demand $4 million if they didn't want it released to the public. Khrushchev flew from Moscow to New York and then New York to San Francisco. He tried to persuade top-level executives to install his dodgy software when he arrived. He whined and dined them in an attempt to get them on his side, but unfortunately for him, they weren't won over so easy. However, he did find one employee who would be willing to upload the software to Tesla's system in exchange for a few million bucks. The plan would be that the other Russian hacker would flood Tesla's software with traffic, and this would act as a decoy to distract the staff while his software stole all the information. Well, that's what he thought the plan was. But in reality, the employee was not a double, but a triple agent. And his third boss was the FBI. He was betraying Tesla for the Russian hacker, but betraying the Russian hacker for the FBI. The FBI didn't bust the hacker immediately, they needed more information, so the triple agent was mic'd up during multiple meetings with the hacker. And during those meetings, the hacker inadvertently gave the FBI his plan, including how his group handled payments and what they planned to do with the data that they'd steal from Tesla. Now, as you probably guessed, the employee was offered far more from the FBI than the hacker was willing to give, which just goes to show if you can bribe someone, you'll always have to be wary someone else could bribe them even more. But in defense of this employee, uh, it was he who initially reported the hacker to the FBI. He was about to leave the USA and leave the Tesla employee to upload the software, but he was stopped at the airport by the FBI and his plan was foiled. And after all that hard work, he got nothing. In court, he did make a deal with prosecutors. He would face up to 10 months in a US prison if he pleaded guilty. But what if he hadn't pleaded guilty? What if it went to trial? Chances are the judge would have found him guilty and sentenced him up to 10 years in a federal penitentiary. But on top of that, he also would have been fined up to $10,000. The fact that he pled guilty? Yeah, probably for the best. Did you know that in the USA, it's illegal to hack into an encrypted database? Although this law has caused some controversy regarding encrypted information that could aid in criminal investigations, that was the law at the time. Although this particular hacker failed, it brings up a really valid point of how can we protect ourselves from rogue employees at companies who hold our information? Had this man not secretly worked with the FBI, personal information about millions of Tesla customers would have been leaked. As far as we know, Musk has not commented yet on this situation, but hopefully he'll add extra measures to stop yet another hacker from trying to bribe a less honorable employee. What do you think? Is Elon Musk doing enough to protect himself and his companies from hackers? Let us know in the comments. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you in another mind-blowing video.